Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Motion News video. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys something that's really, really OP, I guess. Uh, you can use this in team war battles. I haven't, something that I haven't actually tried yet, but I would love to try it out once we get an easy war. Um, and the restrictions are, of course, what I'm going to show you guys in the video. But I will show you guys how you can get basically unlimited life on your tank monster. So um, I'm going to show you guys in just a second. I'll share it with you guys. It's something super fun to try out. Before we get started, I have to let you guys know about today's sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Farmville 3. This is a new game that's available on Android and also iOS. So it means that you can download the game from either the App Store or the Google Play Store. So what makes this game so fun and unique for me is that it's detailed, it's colorful. It's one of those games that you can escape in, you know. You're surrounded by cute animals and friendly farmhands in a relaxing farm. Another thing is that it's social, something you can do together. You can play Farmville 3 with friends, family, and whoever you got basically. It has some nice graphics and also some fun events. It has a huge variety of animals to collect, breed, and nurture. It has a collection of diverse farmhands to hire and upgrade. And last but not least, it has endless possibilities to decorate and customize your farm how you wish. So what makes the game so enjoyable to me personally, I like the fact that there is the breeding and collection mechanic because you can basically breed lots and lots of these cute animals and also collect them for collection purposes. So this is something really cool to consider. I mean, you guys should definitely download it as well because I know you guys will definitely enjoy this. Um, I personally play lots of games that has to do with collections, collecting monsters and stuff like that. Um, but basically this is pretty similar to that, but it's animals so you can definitely go ahead and download that and enjoy it. So this is one of those games where you can just download it and play it anywhere it could be at home school work wherever you go you can go ahead and just play this game it's super fun it's something that i'll probably consider uh sharing with my friends or family members because i know they'll most likely enjoy this type of game so i'll go ahead and let them know about it so what are you guys waiting for go ahead and download farmville 3 for free in the app store or play store by clicking in the link description down below and enjoy the game so before I actually show you guys this insane trick, I do want to give a huge thanks, huge shout out to Kylum because he was the first person that I personally saw that actually came up with this. Um, I'm not sure if he was the one that came up with it, but I saw his video first. And so I was like, oh my gosh, that's actually kind of insane. That is actually pretty insane. So I wanted to, you know, try it out myself and actually share this with you guys because I want to make it a little popular um, so not too many people really know about this and if you guys do want to check out his channel there will be a link in the description down below where you can also check out the original video but yeah huge thanks to him um, if that video wasn't out I I wouldn't have known honestly so huge thanks to him once again um, so there are many monsters that you can actually use instead of this one that I'm going to show you guys um, so the team setup that you really need would be something like this for example so let me go ahead and get rid of these three monsters because you won't really need them uh, one of the monsters that you actually need would either be pango loyat if you have pango loyat like rank rank one no it doesn't have to be ranked up actually just rank zero uh, because it'll start off with megaton right it could be level four at least i have it to level six but level four would be fine too so either pango loyat or santerion i'm sure many of you guys actually have santerion so i'd rather go with that instead so let's go with the santerion here now for your second choice what you actually need is mccreamy I'm sure many of you guys actually have McCreamy because it was recently available. So I hope you actually have this. And what you need for McCreamy is basically um, this skill right here. Double the maximum life of one ally. So make sure to get that. And on top of that, make sure to have this I found a glitch. So definitely equip this one as well because it uh, maximizes your stamina increase. And also stamina regen will be applied to everybody including yourself, right? So that'll help you out. If you want to carry like a staff on top of that just so that you can, you know, regenerate some stamina from time to time. Sure, go for it. Uh, but I'm sure the skills should cover it. And on top of that, what you need would be either this monster right here, Jackpack. Or any other monster like, for example, Firestar, which was available free to play from PvP a while ago, back like back in like Christmas Day, I believe. Um, so if you have Firestar, go for it. If you don't, Jackpack would be an, another option, or any other monsters that can actually restore cooldown, like for example, Roost Wayne. Okay. Um, so this skill right here, you definitely need this, and this is all you need. Literally, this is all you need from Jackpack. Just the Jackpack Pack skill. That's what it's called. So that's literally all you need. All right. And if you want to go with um. A relic here that will actually regenerate your stamina then go for it honestly just go ahead and equip it and that's all you really need now you can actually try this on multiplayer pvp dungeons or even adventure map you can't do it in live duels because you can't really use those monsters all in there so it only works on those three and of course you can also use it in team wars i haven't personally used it in team wars yet but i was actually thinking about using it when we don't have like an elite war or something like that um and they are all in the restrictions and you know something like that uh, but anyways 
I feel like the best way to actually showcase this would be to take it to level 1 because this monster right here, the enemy, it, uh, his speed stat is actually pretty low. This monster won't really get a turn in because of the turn orders on top because of their speed. Like these guys, they have like 17,000 speed, 13,000, 1,400. This one only has 224, that's why. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go back in. This is what I'm going to use, these three monsters right here, except that I won't be using Pangaloyat, and I'll actually use Antirion. You can use Pangaloyat or any other monsters like Megatons with Statuscaster, Megatons, but um, I feel like Megatons that actually start off with Megaton trait would be best, okay? I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know in just a second. But look, we start off with 708 life on Santerion. Keep that in mind, okay? 708. What you need to do, I'm going to go ahead and charge up with this first. You see this life hack skill? Go ahead and apply it to Santerion. From 700, it went to 1400. And now what you want to do is use this cooldown immunity with restore cooldown. Use this. So basically, you can go ahead and spam this every single turn. Now it went up to 2800. And now you want to go ahead and restore cooldown again. You want to do double life. And that went up to 5600. And then you want to restore cooldown again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Whoops. Did I do that wrong? Or did I get two turns? Um, let me actually do the stamina regen because I actually need this. So let's do this. And then I, I'll do life hack, I'll do resource cooldown, life hack again, and as you guys can see, now I have 22,000. This level 4 Megaton monster has 22,000, which has never been seen before, I guess, uh, by most of you guys. So it's kind of cool, I guess, you, you're seeing it for the first time now. But this 24,000 or 45,000 isn't what we're really aiming for. What we're aiming for is like the maximum amount of life that a monster can actually have so look at this we're gonna go ahead and restore again we're gonna charge up here we're gonna do the life hack and now we're up to 362,000 life um we can go ahead and restore again and if we want we could do the maximum stamina increase or regen because we actually need it and then basically continue spamming that skill over and over and over again which is actually kind of insane now we're up to a million life which is actually <laughs> Pretty incredible, right? Now we're up to 2 million. So basically, um, it just keeps doubling up every single turn. Um, so it went from 2 million to 5 million. And now it's probably going to go to 10 million. I mean, that's what's going to happen in just a second. Look, I have 5 million. And now it's basically 10, actually 11 million. Look at that. So it just basically keeps doubling the life over and over and over again. Now, look, I have over, what, how much is that? 23 million life? No, I, I, don't, I don't know. But he has quite a lot of life. And basically, we can continue spamming that over and over and over again. And you guys get the point, right? Like, we are... We're tanking this monster up with so much life. <laughs> this is actually insane. And if you guys do find this video kind of helpful and kind of interesting, I guess, I need you guys to drop a like, all right? And of course... Definitely check out the original um, person that actually came up with this, which of course, once again, his um, his channel link will be you know in the description down below for you guys to check out. Go ahead and show him some love. Uh, but yeah, continue restoring cooldown. That's something that I just forgot to do. Um, now you're probably wondering what would happen if you just keep going, and keep going, and keep going. Well, you're about to see in just a second um, what. This is actually kind of interesting though, and I actually know the exact answer on why this will actually happen. Um, I'll show you guys in just a second. Look, I have over 2 billion, I think that is. Have you guys ever seen over 2 billion life? I think that's 2 billion, if not 296 million for sure. But that's a lot. That is actually a lot of life. I mean, you've never seen this before, have you? Now, finally, this monster gets a turn in. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier, guys. So, when the monster eventually gets a turn in, after 20 to 30 turns away, right? Look, look at all this. This is the most status casters you've ever probably seen, right? Double life, double life, double life, literally, right? Now, here's the thing with this, all right? You can charge up and still have the same amount of life because remember, these double lives, they won't run, run away that quickly. They'll still last for two, two more turns or three more turns, right? So the cool thing is, you can continue taking this over and over again. Now look, in Team Wars, if you wanna use this trick, Basically, use Elvira on the side so that Evasion will basically help you out. And eventually, when this monster gets a turn in, it'll probably have over like 5 billion life or something like that, right? Let's just say. Um, and if it does, when the monster ends up attacking, as long as they don't have trait disable, they can con this monster can continue tanking the damage over and over and over again, which is going to be pretty insane because the maximum damage they can probably deal would be like, let's say, theoretically, a million damage, right? If they can. Probably not. In Team Wars, probably not. Unless they have like lots of strength greens or something like that, sure. But like, it's kind of insane to see, right? And that'll just be 0.0000001% of this monster's life. 
which is actually pretty insane. <laughs> the amount of times I've mentioned insane, that word, it's insane. <laughs> I just said it again. All right, you know what? Let's stop. Let's go ahead and continue this, okay? So basically, we're going to continue um, tanking this monster up over and over again and see what's actually going to happen. Now, we're definitely in the 1 billion, around 1 billion right now, if not 1 trillion. No, I think it's 1 billion for sure. Yeah, it's kind of insane, right? So just continue taking this monster over and over again. Now we're at probably 2 billion, I think. You guys can let me know in the comments down below how much life that is, okay? But we're just going to continue doing this over and over again, once again. We're at 47... No, probably 4 billion, I think that is. I don't even know, honestly. I don't even know anymore, honestly. That is just so much life. Now look, you see, all of a sudden, it did this. Like, you can't even see the red background anymore, right? Of the life. Look at this. 9494777682718 I think that was no 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 9494776827 that's how much life this monster actually has right now which is actually kind of insane um apparently this resource all cooldown was all negative side effects and gives a hundred percent of stamina oh I thought that said life I was gonna say I was gonna say what would happen if I actually do that now look at this I restore all the cooldown again and I'm gonna try to tank this one more time right and look when I try doing this Okay, look, nothing happened for now, right? It looks completely fine. Look at the amount of life there is. Watch this. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna charge up. And now that it's McCreamy's turn, look at this. We're gonna do the double life again. Oh, okay, not yet. Okay, you know what? That's completely fine. I thought it was actually gonna happen. Uh, because I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about here real quick. Look at this. We're gonna try doing it again. Hopefully it works this time. Nope. I think it's the next time. Probably after this one. Yeah, 100%. It's after this one. Look. We do the double life. We apply it. What? What are you talking about? Okay. Now we're definitely in the 15 billion, if not a trillion at least. Right? That's a lot of numbers. That's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of numbers, man. Um, but look. What I'm trying to tell you guys is... You can't really tank this monster up forever. You really can't. Look, this, this is what's going to happen if you try to do it. If you try to actually do it. Let me see. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't show. I couldn't show you guys right there, but that's the amount of life we have right now, and it's coming. Trust me. Look at this. Soon, I'm not sure when, but soon you will see what happens with this monster. So we're gonna restore again. We're gonna do the life hack, and the monster ended up dying from tanking all that damage or not damage life, which is actually kind of insane, right? It's kind of nuts. So, if you try to tank a, a specific monster over and over again with life, something like that. That's what would happen. The monster would just die, basically. And if you do this in Team Wars, don't try to overuse it. A billion life, or if not, at least 10 million life should be enough. Really, it should be enough. That should help you out throughout the whole battle, right? You should be able to win it with that much life. You don't really need more than that, but if you want to continue tanking up, of course, go for it. But just be careful near the end when you get like over a trillion life, I think that was or something, because if you end up getting that much, that's what happened. Okay, so I ended up zooming this. Um, huge thanks to Ishad. I hope this is actually correct. Um, I mean, this is the only explanation we really got uh, from this video. The original person that actually made this video. This person comments that FYI, he died. Um, the reason he died is because the program variable of the game can't handle that much of integer number. So it became out of range and then the AI of the game read that as a negative number when the program logic is when your health is not bigger than zero, then you die. So that's basically the explanation of why this actually happened. Um, so huge thanks to this person and I hope he's actually correct, he or she. Uh, but once again, make sure to check out Kylum. Um, his link will be, his channel link will be in the description down below make sure to check out this video drop a like or so uh but yeah man this was actually pretty insane i've got to say